Well, don't worry. We'll be cast by the end of the day. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Believe me. By the end of the day, we're going to be completely packed. There's nothing to worry about. Would you hold on for a quick sec? Roger. Yo. What are you doing? Uh, texting my girlfriend about eating pizza. Well, is that what you're supposed to be doing? God, I hope so. No, it isn't. I asked you to set up the table and see if anyone has come yet. Oh well, yeah, they're here. What do you mean they're here? They're not supposed to be here for another half hour. Um, you said one. I said we get here at one, actors at 1.30. Mm hmm, yep, that makes sense. We'll just have to chalk this one up as a miscommunication. Something for us to work on in the future. Well, I assure you, we'll be cast by the end of the day. This year's production of Romeo and Juliet is going to be the best yet. I'll, okay, I'll let you know when we have our two leads. Roger! What? Set up the tables. We have actors waiting. We okay. have to go. Okay, I'll set up the table. So tight. What's the big deal? The big deal is that Avery Stern, artistic director of the Red Barn Theater, legend in the Foxy Theater, has entrusted me to cast the two leads this year of Romeo and Juliet. And God help me, Roger, if your laziness and stupid phone mess this up for me. First of all, the Red Barn Theater is one of the three theaters in Foxy. It is by far the worst. It is in no way legendary. Second, Avery Stern is crazy pants and definitely not a legend. And third of all, the Red Barn Theater has done a production of Romeo and Juliet the past seven years. It's actor proof. It's always the same. All you have to do is find two normal, decent actors, and you should be fine. Oh, and finally this. It's not a stupid phone. It's a smartphone. It can get you dressed in the morning while brushing your teeth. All the things to do. Smart. Just read in the first doctor, will you? Right, you. Sure. You can read the scenes with anyone when necessary, right? Whatever you want. You're the boss. Good pace, nice and casual. Hi, Vegas. Little forceful, but keep going. I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Alyssa's acting coach. Just here for more support, but don't mind me. I'll just be over here. Uh, well, normally I prefer to see the actor alone, but I guess I'll... Uh, I know, you won't even know I'm here. So, I guess we'll just jump right in. Did you prepare a monologue or a scene? A monologue. I memorized it last week. Good self-compliment. A little bragging that I don't think I'll notice. Uh, okay, well, whenever you're ready. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Don't start you until you're ready, Melissa. That sounded a little forceful. Keep going. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Great intensity, keep going. Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Projection, Melissa. Deny thy father and refuse thy name. I'm missing your consonants. Deny, deny. Deny thy father and refuse thy name. There we go. Okay, I'm going to stop you. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to wait outside. I feel like I'm not getting a good read with Melissa. I know, she's just nervous. No, I mean, I'm not going to get a good read with you interrupting her. Uh-huh. I can still mark my nose. I think you better leave. This is, as they say, the house of the director. I'll leave it in your hands. If you need anything, remember, boys, I contact Oh, good job. Knocking dead. So, should we try this again from the top? Absolutely. And as I can just give you one note, forget about your acting coaching for now. Just be yourself and have fun. Okay. What do you mean? Don't worry about your voice and getting every word perfect. Just read the scene the way Melissa would. Okay. Okay, I'll try. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Alright, I told everyone no phone. Uh, sorry, it's mine. I'll just... Okay, I'm ready now. Melissa, was that your acting No, it was from my doctor. 
Doctor. It was for my doctor. Well, thanks for coming in. Oh, okay. Thank you. I mean, thank you. Thank you. Hi, thank you for coming in. Joe Romano and I got this thing to read from outside with the lines. The audition scene? Yeah, I'm a really easy one that says Romeo. Great. Because I was like, I saw the one that said Juliet, and I was like, not this guy, I ain't no Juliet. Of course not. So you're going to be reading with Robert. You're going to be reading a lady part? Oh my god, that is so stupid. Can you just read the side? Yeah, like, yeah, sure. We have no idea because, like, I'm so shocked right now. Just start where it says, my sweet. Alright, just give me a minute. Romeo? My sweet. What o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? By nine. Freaking nine, okay? I will not fail, Tis. And I shall stay right here. Uh, and I'm gonna forget any other home but this. Okay, great. I'm going to stop you there. I was just getting to the good stuff. I'm sorry, I just feel maybe we're going down the wrong road. Excuse me? It's just you playing the scene with a lot of anger. Yeah? I'm just not so sure Romeo is angry in this in this scene. It, it is the balcony scene where Romeo and Juliet declare their love to one another. It's supposed to be sweet and passionate. Passionate, like, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like, I love you so much, I just want to punch a wall. Well, I don't think he's going to punch a wall. Because, like, I know when I'm in love, I'm just so, I climb up walls, I'm just so amped by the time I get there, like, ugh, I love you. Okay, well, thank you for coming by. Yeah. And, uh, I might suggest you look at Therapy, not this guy, not this guy. Hi, thanks for coming in. Thank you. I mean, thanks. Well, what have you got for us? Monologue or scene? Monologue? What's a monologue? A monologue? Great. What I do with my mother is not good. I love you when she cares. Uh, well, what was that? That's it, right? No, of course it isn't. You know that. Look, it was really long, but if you catch me, I'll remember it and my Will you? Yeah, I think I would. Maybe. I don't know. Well, thanks for coming in. So am I going to be in it? Am I going to be in the room? We'll let you know. This has been awful. It has to get better, right? I don't know. Geez, Roger, can you pretend to care? No. Hi, Raymond Conville. Thank you so much for seeing me. Thank you for coming in. Any questions? No, no. So will you be doing a monologue or a scene? Um, monologue, if that's okay with you. Works for me, whenever you're ready. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. A bit that will be but sworn my love. Okay, great work so far. Um, I want you to keep going. I just want you to give a minor adjustment. Okay. Your hands in your pocket. It's a little distracting. Is it? Yes, it just makes you seem really stiff. Oh, sorry. It's just, I never know what to do with my hands. I feel like it would be distracting. Well, try not to worry about it. Just, you know, relax. Do what you normally with your hands. Normally? Yeah, give it a shot. O oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? And I thy father, and who is thy name? But if thou wilt be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. What's a monologue? What's a monologue? Alright, uh, what is it? What is that? What's what? Your hand. Why are you swinging your arms around and clapping? Well, I'm telling you, I don't know what to do with my hands, and, uh, well, I thought, this is what I do when I talk about boys, so I'll just do that. It is? Yeah, what do you do? Not that. Look, I don't know of anybody that does that, except maybe an insane person. So, why don't you just try something else? Like what? I'm telling you, I struggle with my hands. 
Don't put your hands in your pocket. Don't swing wildly. Just try something else, something natural. Okay. O oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, of it thou wilt be but swore, my love, and I'll no longer be a Catholic. Tis but thy name that is with my enemy. Well, okay, that was different. Yeah, I just see naturally now because she's in love. Yep, okay, well, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Hello? Thanks for coming in. Can I get your name and will you be doing a monologue for a scene? Lily? Will you be doing a monologue or a scene? Okay, uh, Roger, I'm going to need you to read. Can you guys start at the top, please? Um, Roger, I think she started. Oh, uh, my sweet? Did she say something? What are you saying? Your lips are moving, but there's no sound. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lily, honey, when you get your voice back, then come and see us. Uh, hello, are you mad? Excuse me? Uh, is this a method actor? No, I don't know what she's doing. Excuse me, miss? Uh, okay. Would you like to do a monologue or a... We have size it. Yeah. What the heck was that? Let's just forget that ever happened. That was either the worst audition I've ever seen or the best. You should really consider her. Shut up, Roger. No, I'm being serious. Like, that kind of blew my mind. Hi. Thanks for crossing. I was running late for my moment rehearsal. Do you mind if I take a moment to warm up? No, although we do have people coming in. Oh, it'll only be a minute. I just have a hard time auditioning if I'm not feeling it. No, um, if you want, we could bring someone in. Oh, no, it'll only be a minute. Uh, do you think I can go to the bathroom real quick? Ka, ka, me, me! Um, she said she'd just be a minute, so. Wow, wow! Wow! Oh my god, what is she doing? I think, okay, I think she's having seen it. Roger, call that. I'm ready to begin now. Okay, great. That was quiet. I'm ready to be, 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 begin now. I'm ready to begin now, now, now. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, Meg, we really need to get started. We need to get started. Yes, we're running behind. You're running behind. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not going to do a Meisner exercise with you. I'm not going to do a Meisner exercise with I'm you. I'm serious. I'm serious. Stop this at once. Stop this at How merrily we roll on today. Sorry, I never give good auditions. I have a hard time. I don't practice my instrument first. I guess that's understandable. Um, we're going to start running behind. Of course I... Eep! 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 Is this the stage where the play will be formed in? Yes. These acoustics are unacceptable. Your high seats are bouncing off the walls. So, call me when your proper upgrades are made. <laughs> Hi, are you here to audition for Romeo and Juliet? Romeo and Juliet at the St. Edward's Theater? No, this is a Red Barn Theater. No, no way, I'm not wasting my talent in this theater. Um, 
Uh-huh. Well, then we're walking. I want 5% on the back end and she's walking. Walking. Okay, 2.5% on the sliding scale and she got yourself a door. Okay, Charlie's wants her own dressing room. 10% of the door on top of every salary and a bowl of Skittles at every parcel and every performance. Chocolate covered Skittles. You're sure? That yeah. sounds disgusting. Yeah, I'm sure. Chocolate covered Skittles are a lot. I'm afraid this is not negotiable. I'm sorry, this is a community theater. We're not paying anybody, let alone giving anybody a cut of the bottom line. Okay, give us a second. But think about this. Okay, well, <laughs> I think you're overthinking this. No? Okay. Okay. I won't. I won't back down on this. Uh-huh. Skittles or I walk. Skittles or I walk. My client is willing to work for half of her usual salary and take only 5% of the box on his butt. The chocolate covered Skittles must be in her dressing room all the time. It's part of my process. I'm sorry, but have you ever worked in a community theater? There is no money in. Walking. We're walking away. Go. Go. Just FYI, I once dated this guy and his dad totally hated me. I totally get this Juliet girl. It's true. Charlie's had some real insights into this part. This is crap. You just made a big mistake. Charlie's fine wolf is going to own this town. Own this town. No, what is this? I'm sorry? Why are you dressed in a tutu? How do you expect me to perform my modern nasties? I don't expect you to. I expect you to have monologue or scene. Oh. I see. And a modern dance piece, the best modern dance piece will suffice. No. I'll do a monologue then. Great. Okay, are you really going to do a monologue? Or are you just going to do some crazy modern dance piece? If I say monologue, then do a dance piece, will you get mad? I've had a long day. All these actors I've seen today are borderline psychotic and stupid, and if I have to see a modern dance piece, I might just lose it. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, this has been trying. We should take a five-minute break until we see the next group. Uh, I think that's it. That's it? What do you mean that's it? We only saw ten actors. It was only ten? God, it seemed like so much more. <sighs> but I'm supposed to start rehearsals next week. I was supposed to cast this. Well, there's not else according to my list. Let me see that. Hey, my girlfriend's outside, so could I head out a little early? No! We'll go to pizza date. I don't give a dang about your pizza date. You're not going anywhere until this is cast. I'm calling Henry. Well, can she at least come in and hang with me while I'm stuck here? Henry, I need more audition dates. You only scheduled ten actors. And... They were all terrible. I'm just going to go ahead and give her the green light because you're dealing with some stuff and I'm bored. No, I'm not being prejudiced. Don't say I'm being prejudiced. They were all insane. What? One thing you read the scene. She pretended to be a cat. Uh huh, right. I agree. Well, I'm not being a perfectionist. Henry, if I saw two. Actors that have even a bit of chemistry, I would hire them on. Henry, I've got to go. I think I, I figured out how to cast this day. Roger, Amy, stand over there. Just do me a favor, okay? Could you two just read those scenes for me? Whoa, wait, I'm not an actor. Yeah, I think it's I'm not asking you to do anything insane. Look, Roger, you can read the scene better than anyone, and obviously you two have chemistry. Just read it. Don't worry about projecting or any of that stuff. You want to give it a try? Sure. Romeo? My sweet? I need to know, they'll meet me at the hour of nine. I will not go, I forgot why I didn't call you back. No, 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 stop! What are you, why are you clapping your hands? Why do you have a gun? Well, let me stand here till I remember it. 
Oh look, more capulets. I shall smack them with thy launcher of rockets. Good night, good night, party, such sweet, sweet, eat, sorrow. They all start coming after us, even stronger. Quick, in the car, we'll make our escape post haste. Step on it. Uh, well, Step on it. Sorry, I just feel like maybe you're you're taking this the wrong way. Yeah. It's just you playing the sink with a lot of anger. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm just not so sure Romeo is angry in this scene. It is the balcony scene. This is where Romeo and Jul Juliet declare their love for one another. Yeah, I'm passionate. Yeah, I'm passionate. Like that's what I'm going for. Like. I'm in love with you. I love you so much, let's just do push up. Excuse me, this. Uh, okay. We have sides in. Okay. No, you're done. Action. This is probably the best. Monotogue. What's a monotogue? Do you mean a monologue? So soft. <laughs> Do you mean a mono? A monologue, not a monologue. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, and a modern dance piece, the best modern dance piece. No. And the sliding scale and merch. You got yourself. Okay, Charlie's wants her own dressing room. Ten percent of the door on top of her every salary and a bowl of skittles at every every performance and every rehearsal. Chocolate covered skittles. Right? You're sure. Well, so <laughs> Don't Hour of nine. I will not go. I forgot why you didn't call me that. No, 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 stop. What are you why why are you clapping? Why do you have a gun? Well, look, more capulets, I shall smite them with thy Monster of rockets. Hi. Megan and Crossing, how are you? I was running late for me. Limit rehearsal. Do you mind if we say what we're doing on track? No, although. Wait. No! We need to get started. We need to get started. Yes, we're running behind. We're running behind. <coughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not going to do a Meisner exercise with you. I'm not going to do a Meisner exercise with I'm you. I'm serious. I'm serious. Stop this at once. Stop this at once. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I never. Never did good auditions. If I don't warm up in my yoga mat. I guess. Stop this at. How merrily we roll on today! Sorry if I don't. Sorry, Dad. No! Eat, eat, eat. Is this which the play will be performed in? Yes. Eat, eat, eat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Eat, eat, eat. Is this an? Oh! Don't look at this. Okay, this has been tried. Should we take a five-minute break? Tell the next group. Uh, I think that's it. That's it. What do you mean that's it? 